Hey everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Andy and I thought I would put this short video together to help out all the new players do the Division 2. So I get to meet um, a lot of players who I either knew or haven't quite grasp the basic mechanics of uh, building a set. So in this video I'm going to touch on the basics and then in part two I'll touch on how you can configure that gear set even more effectively to get the very best from it. So let's get into it. So I see a lot of new players and when I check out their gear, invariably they've got um, a mix of gold and purple and just random stuff in their gear set here. So I think it's worth just spending a few minutes understanding how these gear sets work. So. If you look at each piece that I've put together here, um, each of them has a different symbol. This has got a helmet, there's a mountain, an anchor, a fox, blah blah blah. So each of these has got its own unique talent. So let's just check the mask. So if you look in the top right, you can see the gear score is 506. And then beneath that, you see it says brand set, Gilead Guard, one out of three. Now, what they're saying is right now I've got a plus 5% five, five total armor buff. But without the other two, it's a beginner guard. You can see the health buff, a buff plus 10%, plus the 1% armor regen is grayed out. So, how do I ungray them? How do I uh, unlock those bonuses? So, what I need to do is look through the rest of my gear to see what piece matches it. So let's have a look at the body armor. So in my inventory, as I scroll through, there, I've got another clear guard uh, body armor. Now you can see on the right under brand set, I've got a green bracket there indicating if I equip that, I'll also get a 10% health buff. So if I equip that, that is now unlocked. So that is good news. Right, quick, quick sip of tea. But I also want the plus one percent armor regen. So let's see if I've got a holster that's got the giddy guard. Yes, I do. And again, you can see on the right, I've got the green brackets under the brand set, meaning if I equip this, I then unlock the plus 1% armor region. Okay, so now you can see I've got matching gear. So let's see what else I can match up to suit my build. Now, my recommendation is either you find a weapon that you most like and then you match the gears to that, or build the best gear set you can uh, find or one that suits your style and then match the weapon to that. So, as I start to thumb through, so right now, I've got an Alps Summit Armament 15% repair skill. So let's see what else I've got that might work for me. Health, 
Forgive you, God. I don't need that. So let's turn that on. So that 5.1 mile tactical has now given me a 10% health buff. Let's check out the gloves. So headshot damage, skill damage. Ah, okay. AR damage plus 10%. Now, to like assault rifles so I'm gonna equip that then let's check out their knee pads so I've got okay so again I've got another thrift group a B knee pads so if I put those on I'll also get a 10% reload speed you can see there on the right now, do I prefer those knee pads or those? I actually prefer these, and the reason for that is, is if you look under brand set, you'll see, also see core attribute and attributes. Now, I prefer the knee pads with critical hit damage, critical hit chance, as opposed to these on the attributes, which have got explosive resistance and weapon handling in the next video i'll show you how you can change those to better increase the um gear set so let's put those on All right so now i've got three giddy guard two friendless and one five on one one now let's check out the weapons Bearing in mind, I've got an AR damage buff. So what we got here? Uh, a, so a submachine gun is no good with this gear set. So let's scroll through. Okay, so we got a number of ARs here. Quite a the look at the SOCOM. So we'll put that on. Now for my secondary, I quite like submarine guns, so let's use the sub, let's put on the tactical vector. Okay, cool. Alright, so the sub will benefit from the uh, reload speed that I've got on the friendless group, but the SOCOM will benefit from their um, AR damage and the reload speed. So that is a very basic way to start matching gear up. Now there are endless combinations, but the best way to start off is match their gear up to best to your need and what you think bonus wise will give you the most damage or most skill or whatever it is that you're building for. So there you are guys. I hope you uh, found that interesting, useful. Give it a like, subscribe uh, and in part two I'll show you having put that gear set together they can then configure it more effectively to get even more from your gear. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the DZ.